and grimace. Let's get right back to Bill in the action. 15 rounds live from Earl's Court Stadium in London, England on a rainy, dreary night. any weight in the history of boxing. Figures to employ those tactics. London, of course, a plotter, moving in always, trying to set himself for the punch. Good right hand, glancing off the left side of the head. In the first minute of the first round. Many of the experts figured that it would be London who would be the aggressor here in this first round. He likes to start fast, many times rushing off his stool. However, it's been played so far, throwing most of the punches. Notice that Clay will throw the combination. London is pretty much a single punch fighter. Good snapping left hand by Cassius Clay. to go here in round one. getting just a little bit red under the left eye. Ten seconds to go in the first round. <laughs> the end of the first round, and here's Howard Cassell. That round, Clay virtually used London as a punching bag, as a target, and yet he didn't really hurt him because he hasn't been punching hard. As Bill pointed out, Clay started off tonight faster than he usually does. He usually dawdles for a few rounds and then unleashes, or at least unleashes as much as he can punch. Quickly, the system of scoring in Britain, the five-point must system, the winner of a round gets five points. After that, it's graded down into quarter points, so scoring is always very close. Scoring is done only by a referee. There are no judges at ringside. There is no mandatory eight count. There is no three knockdown rule. There is no being saved by the bell, except, of course, after the 15th round, at which point the match is over, and there is no question arising as to being saved by the bell. A referee can disqualify one of the fighters for a foul blow. We're about to come into the second round. The first round easily plays. Bill? The British people, of course, are still very excited over the World Cup Championship in soccer. Of a week ago, they'd like to have the second World's Championship coming their way by virtue of a London win tonight over Cassius Clay. Coming up in the next month, exclusively on ABC, will be the Carl Mildenberger fight. The way the contract is worded, it could be either of these men, whichever of the two wins.
Although Brad Leonard has been stopped five times in his professional career, he has been on his back only one time. That was Floyd Patterson, who put him down in 1959. He's probably one of the most superbly conditioned boxers in history. He's almost a fanatic on physical fitness, and as you saw, it is also the superb condition of Cassius Clay that got him out of a good spot. Great, great leg movement. are fighting their mark just a little more regularly by Cassius Clay. Look for a moment as if London was going to try to measure his man in the corner then decided not to do it. The clinch ensued and now they're back outside. hand that as you saw Clay rolled with. Good right hand by Cassius Clay. A good right hand and it staggered London for a moment. You saw the left go and then the right hand followed high on the forehead. About 20 seconds to go in the second. A definite sting to the right hand here in the second round. We have 10 seconds to go in the round. I'm Dave Moore. Round three. Neither man is marked. Probably the best punch of the fight. Thrown in that second round by Cassius Clay. A good right hand to the head. Again, Clay follows with a combination. in a tough spot in there with Clay peppering him and down he goes. He was in a bad spot in the corner and he is down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's all over. It's all over. With 20 seconds, 20 seconds to go in the round, 40 seconds gone in round three. Brian London was trapped in his corner. He knew he was in a bad spot, and all of a sudden, a terrific right hand caught him on the head again, and down he went, as you saw. 